The ex-wife of disgraced former Subway spokesman Jared Fogel is opening up about explosive allegations against the company. In an interview you'll see only on CBS This Morning, Katie McLaughlin says she didn't know her husband of six years was a pedophile. McLaughlin recently filed a civil suit against Subway. It accuses the sandwich chain of negligence. She alleges Subway was notified about Fogel's sexual interest in children at least three times during his stint as company spokesman. And it felt it failed to tell police. Fogel is serving a more than 15-year prison sentence for charges related to child pornography and sex with minors. Anna Werner is in Zionsville, Indiana, where Fogel and McLaughlin lived. Anna, good morning. Well, good morning, Gail. Zionsville is the kind of place that's calm and peaceful, a place people come to raise their families. And for many, that's exactly what life is here. But for Katie McLaughlin, for over a year now, her life has been anything but. You could look up every word in the dictionary or the source for horrible, and none of them describe what this year has been like. That year for Katie McLaughlin, formerly Katie Fogel, married to Subway spokesman Jared Fogel, began July 7, 2015, when the FBI showed up at the door of their Indiana home with a search warrant, looking for evidence her husband was a pedophile. That's um, how you found out about this? That's how I found out. Was the yeah. FBI knocking on your door? Yes. Yeah. So before that, you knew nothing? No, I knew nothing about his involvement in anything. They walked in, and you're just in shock. Did you even understand what was happening? No, no. I didn't understand any of it, to be honest. I mean, you just, you float out of yourself um, because the FBI shouldn't be in your house. It was a swift fall for her husband, who until that point was a brand celebrity, the man who lost more than 200 pounds by eating Subway sandwiches. Hi, I'm Jared the Subway Guy. Now he's a criminal who pled guilty to having sex with minors and distributing child pornography. He's serving some 15 years in prison. And McLaughlin's life changed too. Six weeks after the FBI's visit, she filed for divorce, then later for sole custody of their two children, now aged three and five. Do you know when the last time you talked to him was? All of it, something she could never have imagined when she fell in love with Fogel. Do you love him now? In my opinion, he he took himself out of our lives, and I I, I can't even think about him at this point in my life. There's anger there. Of course there's anger. I mean, anyone would have anger for a person who was supposed to do nothing but protect his children. Her anger is not limited to her ex-husband. She's now suing Subway for negligence, saying in her filed complaint that the company was alerted to potential problems with Fogel on three occasions, in 2004, 2008, and 2011. The last, where a Florida journalist made a complaint through Subway's website and later recorded conversations with Fogel, played on the Dr. Phil show after his arrest. So it's just sharing stories and then... Yet McLaughlin says she herself knew nothing. He had two lives going on. You know, he was home with the kids and I in one life, and he was out on the road in a different life. And he was able to keep those two very separate in a way that I couldn't even fathom. You know there are people out there who will hear you and will say, how could she not know? There are going to be people out there who believe what they want to believe about me. I mean, how could anyone think that I would stay married to a man and have children with a man who was doing this? Of course I wouldn't be there. Of course I wouldn't stay with him. I did not know. But she believes Subway did know something. If he was so good at having this other life and lying to you, mm -hmm. is it possible that he could have been just as good at lying to them? No one ever brought me complaints. We know that there was at least one complaint brought to them that was mishandled. Subway told us it had no comment on the lawsuit, but in a statement to media outlets last year, the company said an internal investigation found the 2011 complaint to its website was serious, but there was nothing that implied anything about sexual behavior or criminal activity involving Fogel. The company said at the time, we regret that this comment was not properly escalated or acted upon. More recently, the company told Site Radar Online 
line that their investigation showed no evidence of any prior knowledge of issues regarding Fogel. What did he take from you? I mean, my ability to trust. I mean, my ability to, to think that things will be okay. You know, I think I was always a pretty, you know, happy person who, you know, thought if everyone puts in their hard work, you know, things will end up okay. And um, now I'm, I'm not so sure about that now. One thing McLaughlin is sure of, nothing happened with the couple's own two children. Now, she's also suing Subway over using her and her children's likenesses, she says, without their permission, in a 2015 ad. And we also reached out to Jared Fogel to ask for an interview through his attorney. They declined. Gail? All right, Anna, thank you.